So if we can finish within these two hours, then we won't be having class at six o'clock. So I intend to actually split into two Let's sections. Go. So maybe we finish uh, at around uh, one thirty. Then the remaining, maybe for another hands-on examples, we will proceed at six o'clock today for the other section. So make sure you already uh, install the MATLAB uh, with the Simulink. So when the time you install, you have to pick the Simulink and the MATLAB. Okay, so we will go through the example together. So I need to record the session. Okay. Okay, so from here, this is lecture five, week five. We do not have a tutorial uh, questions, but I have included the examples here. So this week five and week six uh, topics you have learned this, you will be learning these two weeks will be in your test as well. So the test value already updated. Uh, please refer to the Telegram and also the My, uh, My Times. I already uh, updated the test value. Okay, our test will be week seven uh, Wednesday for one and a half hours. So uh, 12 o'clock, so 12 to 1.30 for three questions uh, covering the topics from week one to week six. The simulating, you won't be having the computer simulation during your test, but you need to sketch the simulating models. OK, so the lecture outlines of today, uh, which is the part one of the simulating, we have the introduction to MATLAB and simulating. We have example of the ordinary differential uh, equation model, how we actually solve using the simulating. And then we have the modeling of chemical engineering process, for example, the one you have learned from the week one until uh, now is a week five, right? So week four, uh, huh? you have the missing process uh, and then open loop is like uh, there is no any turning back. So everything will be from the beginning, then go to the end point. There won't be any turning back uh, loop to the input there. So we call as the open loop. When it is closed loop, then there will be a turning point from the end back to the initial uh, block. So this is the closed loop. Okay, introduction to MATLAB and Simulink. We have many, many toolboxes in the uh, MATLAB. The one we uh, have in this module is the simulation, which is the Simulink toolbox. So you need to install this Simulink toolbox uh, when the time you install your MATLAB. Simulink is part of the MATLAB. MATLAB have many toolboxes. One of the toolbox is actually Simulink. It can be used to simulate a dynamic system, meaning that you are going, for example, to sketch the level of uh, the a tank versus the time. So this is the dynamic system, meaning that the level at, at different time, it will be different uh, level. So it is a dynamic system that you actually derive from the ODE equation, ordinary differential equation, where you have to consider uh, the unsteady state, mass balance, uh, energy balance, or composition balance. So we have three methods to actually solve the ODE equation. We have covered uh, the uh, integration method where you need the initial condition. So how to solve? How to solve all the equation, we have three methods we have covered so far. One is to solve using integration method, where you will need the initial condition. Second, you will solve using, uh, for example, last week we discussed Laplace transform method, where you do not use the unsteady state minus steady state, just Laplace transform, where you get uh, the all the equation, then you Laplace transform both sides and find uh, the value at certain time. So that one is a previous uh, tutorial, I think question one, where you have the event A and event B uh, happen uh, in sequence. The other method we have is transfer function. So this transfer function is like you have to derive the unsteady state balance minus, so this one is unsteady state, balance minus the steady state balance, then you will get the deviation 
variables. Then, similar with the Laplace transform, you have to Laplace transform both sides and get the transfer function of, for example, ys over xs equals to first order equals to second order. So you have tau 1s plus 1, tau 2s plus 1. Okay, sorry, I have a call. Take a call. And is it so okay? But you know how 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 versatile she is. Okay, so we have these three methods to solve the ODE. Uh simulink will help you to actually create the plot of this, like your yt. So this one will be your t. So they will create a plot. It can be any plot, for example, without solving the ODE using all these three methods. But for sure, you need to actually get the ODE equation first. You will be using some of the fundamentals just when the time plot the graph, you do need to actually plot manually using a graph paper. You can utilize the simulink to actually help you to plot the graph. Or you can represent the transfer function block, okay, this one, using the simulink blocks. So simulink is just part of the MATLAB that can be used to simulate the dynamic uh, system. Rapid creation means very fast, user-friendly. It is just drag and then drop. So later we will practice. You have to make sure you're able to run your simulator. Eh? Okay, I have mentioned many times already, install the MATLAB because we will be using the MATLAB this week and next week. Make sure you already install your MATLAB in your laptop. It will just take about a few minutes to install, but some time to actually finish the installation. Okay, in the Windows, models are created and edited primarily by mouse driven. You just need the mouse. So you will need the mouse to help you to drag and drop. Uh, if you do not have the mouse, it's a bit harder because it is a mouse driven drag and drop commands. So make sure now you get ready with your mouse. Later we'll be using your mouse to drag and drop the block we want into the window, simulating window. Okay, now uh, open up your simulating. We will have the example together, uh, solving together. So please get ready with your simulink. And then when you open up your simulink, before you actually click this simulink, you will be actually having this window, MATLAB window. So I will open up the, so I need to share two screens. Let me practice how to share two screens. <laughs> Okay, let me try, let me try. Okay, like this. So I need to share screen. A, give me some time. So I need to share screen. So you will see this screen that we have, uh, MATLAB 2023, which is the latest one. So from here, um, this R20, 23A is the version we have for this year. So if you have if you have installed the earlier version, you can still run the simulating today. So try to open up this one. And if you have hit the simulating toolbox, you will be seeing this simulating here. Okay. So if you see the simulating here, then maybe it means you already installed the simulating toolbox. If you do not see the simulink here, hmm, oh, you, yes? Uh, I think we will not see your screen. screen. You do not see the screen? Okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, ah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so this one screen. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let me know uh, because I need to share two screens. I do not know whether you're able to.
เออโอเคโอเคกิมมี่สัตว์ตามแพ็กโอเคโอเคจูแมนติงจอบนะแล้วกูแล้วกูโอเคสูงสวัสดีเห็นสิเฮ้ยโอเคโนโนมิสเฮ้ยนั่นสิเฮ้ยโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเค Uh, no, nothing. Nothing. Okay, it is maybe I stop sharing. Mm. Yeah, now we can. Okay, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So you'll be having this simulating toolbox with you all. So you have to make sure you have this simulating toolbox because we are using this simulating toolbox for today lecture and next week's lecture and tutorials. Both sections. Okay, so you are going to click this simulating. So try to run the simulating with me. So click this one, simulating. So once you click simulating, you'll be able to see this slide. Then you will be choosing this blank model. So click the blank model. So if you couldn't find the simulating here, meaning that you haven't installed the simulating, what you need to do is uninstall the whole thing. Then when the time they you install, right, the few, the first few instruction actually ask you to tick which one you want. So only the first two, one is MATLAB, the other one is simulating, like the one I shared previously in the uh, Telegram. So uh, let me check. So last time I shared in the Telegram, you have to install like this. So MATLAB and also Simulink. So you need to click these two. By default, right, it only MATLAB will be tick. Okay, so make sure you take these two, Simulink and also the MATLAB. Okay, so once you click this Simulink, you will be able to have this slide, uh, this page. Then you click the blank model. So when you click the blank model, then it, it is empty. You will need to select the blocks you want from the library browser. So you may click the library browser now. Then you will see this library browser. You'll be having uh, all the blocks you want. Okay, so I will demonstrate one time. Like now you are having this simulating. You click. Okay, so you'll be having this page. You'll be choosing the create model, means blank model. So you will click one time. Then this is the empty uh, model. You will need and drop the blocks you want by selecting the blocks from the library browser. So you will click library browser. So from here, you choose this simulating. So you will click the simulating, then you'll be getting this page. Okay, so when you get to this page, you select this, okay, this one. So you select this one, you click. Okay, if you cannot follow, please just unmute then I will demonstrate again. So you will get this library belongs to the simulating. Then we have the commonly used blocks like, uh, like very frequently all these blocks will be chosen uh, to create the blocks you want, simulating model you want, then continuous. For example, our transfer function, it is actually in the uh, continuous block. Integrator means the integration. You may need this one if you solve using integration method. Okay, if you can remember uh, which library it belongs to, then you can simply just type the block you want here. Like for example, I want, uh, for example, constant. Okay, then I will just click. Then it will bring me to, like for example, the constant. There are so many constants here. The one we need, maybe this one. Okay. Maybe I need the time delay, so I will write, I will type delay example. 
then it will bring me to delay uh, the one we want in our time delay, like for example, Ke power to negative theta s. So that one indicates time delay. We will be using the transport delay. Like for example, you have the input of step. Step input, then you just type the step and then you will be using the step input here. Search around where is your step. There will be keyword step. Then you have the rectangular pulse, pulse generator. Then you have the uh, the other one we call as the RAM input. So if you can't find the RAM, right? So you just type it here, RAM. Okay, don't need to memorize uh, where the blocks come from. But the idea is we always have these uh, commonly used blocks we frequently use. And for the rest, like commonly used, for example, maths operation, mathematics operation, absolute number, addition, uh, and then plus minus, sum, and so on. So this will be like, for example, you calculate the, the other one, like exponential term, the sine term, sine wave function. So all these fall under the maths operation. And the rest frequently used, for example, sync. Since you have learned this uh, word sync in the thermodynamics and heat transfer, so this one you have learned the sync actually is the outcomes for control. So the outcome means how you want to present your output. You want to present in the form of number, like you use your calculator, right? So you press and then it will give you a number, a value. So that one is display. You want to present your answer in display, means it will show you a number here, just like your calculator. And then you might want to present your outcome in the form of graph paper, then you'll be using this scope. So these things means how you want to present your output. And source means inputs. We have five types of uh, popular inputs. We have constant, then we have the RAM, then we have the step, we have the rectangular pulse, where is the pulse? Uh, pulse. And then we have the sine wave that we'll be using this sine wave when the time uh, we have the topic of frequency response. So all these fall under the sources library. Okay, so these are the library. So how you get this page? Okay, you can just close it. So you go to the library browser here, then you click this one, then it will be the simulating library over here. You can just type whatever you want here, then it will direct you to the blog you want. Then what you need to do is to just drag and drop. For example, now I have this, right? So I just drag and then drop it here. So click, pull, release. You can practice. Click, drag, release. Means you have to hold your mouse. Okay, you just click and then hold, drag, release. Okay, try to uh, drag and drop. So this is why they say it is the mouse driven. So if I'm using touch screen, also fine. Ding, ding. Very hard. Huh? Okay, if touch screen, I don't think that it, it can be just drag and drop. It's not working with my touch screen. Maybe, ah, yeah, it's working but it takes longer time. I don't know why. So if you want to delete all this, you just have to highlight, delete. So if you don't want, just highlight and then delete. It seems like your word. If let's say you want to re you, you want to go back to the previous step, you just control Z. Okay. So if you don't want, you just highlight everything and then delete. Okay. Okay, next. So we have until, okay, this page where you click the blank model, it is a mouse driven app. Then you will choose the a block you want from this simulink. Okay, and then you click this, it will bring you to the library of this. So the first window that pop up, the window will be having a library of blocks. They are available, which we call as the library over here. So the one we have like the commonly used block, sync, sources, and so on. What you need to do is just drag and drop onto this uh, window. Okay, so we already done all these uh, few pages. Done, done, done. Okay, we also try already. You can drag the blocks into this area by just using your mouse. Click 
the block you want and then hold, drag and release. You'll be able to drag and drop the blocks you want into this area. So the popular library we have is sources where we have the sink, step, ram, rectangular pulse, sine wave and so on. This one is sources. Sinks means how you want to present your outcomes. If you want to present your outcome in the form of number, then you will choose the display. If you want to choose, uh, you want to present your outcome in the form of graph paper, and then you can choose the scope, S-C-O-P-E, the scope. Continuous library will be your transfer function block, and also your, for example, your, uh, the other one is the integration, the integrator block. And your common sources, uh, common library we have is the max operation, like plus, minus, uh, trigonometry, exponential term, then you will be getting all these blocks from the max operation and many more. Okay, how you connect the block, for example, now you go to choose uh, constant and display, you drag and drop into your uh, area, the simulating area there, so you need constant and display. Okay, so like if you can't remember constant is just the thing or source it is the source Wait, do you know how to so from here constant is this plus plus and minus one if you can't remember you just type constant here constant the, like the second example okay then you they will bring you to this page then you oh. click hold drag Focus and there. release Focus okay if you want to know what is this block the name of this block you highlight this block Right click and then go to the uh, format and choose the show block name. Okay, so you highlight the block, right click, choose the format and then show block name. Okay, then it will show you, uh, you have to choose auto lah. Huh? Then they will show, okay, this block is named as constant. Then the other one is display. So you go to find where is your display. Okay, so your display, for example, is which one? So your display, as I can remember, is singla. So your display is, it looks like this. So this is your display. So if I want to name, I want the name of all these block, right? I will just need to go format and then show blocks name. Or maybe I turn on. Okay. Okay, how you connect these two blocks? You can just click on the constant. Use your finger to press control. Don't release. Press the control and then go to click the display okay i repeat you just need to click constant then press or hold okay use uh you must be having your keyboard lah, huh? so use uh you have to hold the control key so hold the control key then go to click the display so the steps mentioned here so how are you going to connect these two blocks Okay, you click this constant first, you click, and then you go to hold the control key. And then you click the display. Okay, or the simple method, it can be just draw, the, draw yourself using your mouse, then you can create this line. So you just go nearer to here, then you click hold until you join to the next block. Also fine. So there are a few methods. Lah. The easiest one will be click this one, hold the control key, and then click display. Okay, for example, if you want to change this number to 8, okay, then you will okay. So this is like your calculator. You will need to actually get this answer when you press the enter, right, the equal. So for the simulation, you just have to click run. So the run is on top here. So you click the run. Then it will show you the number of eight, like this. 
So you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Okay, so you can move this position, just highlight everything and then drag and drop like this. Okay, so if you want to change to other number, you just double click the constant block. Like for example, I changed to 17. Then okay. Then I have to click the run. So we'll try from the simple example first. So this is called as the source, which is the constant. And this is the sync, which how you play, how you want to present your outcomes. You use the display, which means you want to present your outcomes in the form of number. Okay. Okay, next. Running the simulation, we have done this slide where when you have this, then you double click the constant. Uh, for example, you change the number to one. Okay. Originally, by default, it is already one. So just now I demonstrated like maybe you, you type the other number. So now you click the run, then display will show you exactly the same value as one. It means this straight line is equal. Okay, so this straight line means it is equal. So we have this equal here. Whatever you type here, a number, once you run, it will show you the same number as your input. So this line, this arrow is actually the equal. Constant block send a signal with a value of one and then display block, which is this one, your uh, sync will receive and display the signal equal to one. Display the result. Okay, one of it is actually using the display. You can display your result using the blocks of sync. Can be display, can be floating scope, outbus element, uh, outcome, record, scope. So the, the common one we use, there will be just three display, a number, graph, scope. Scope is similar with the XY graph, but this XY graph you have to attach with the clock. The clock here. I will show you why you have to attach the clock. If you do not attach the clock or link to the clock, it means uh, the model is incomplete. You won't be able to run. So if you choose this to display your outcomes, there are two signals going in. One you have to, one of it, you have to link to the clock. So the clock will look like this, this one. Okay, so we only commonly use three, uh, to, three blocks to present your outcomes. So one is display, which your answer actually just a constant number, or it is in the form of graph, a plot, then you can choose the scope or you can choose the XY graph. So now we try simple example. How do you solve three plus six equal? I know the answer is nine. Lah, huh? So three is a constant. So you need to pick drag and drop constant two constant. And from the match operation, you have to choose addition, the add. And then you have to go to the sync to choose the display. So three plus six plus together, it will give you nine. Okay, so solve together. So this one I don't want already, right? So I just highlight everything, then I delete. Okay, then I go to the library browser I want. Okay, like this one. Then I click this. If you only have one screen, then you have to split your screen. Now, huh? So from here, you'll be having a uh, constant like suddenly you can't remember where is your constant block then you just type constant okay then it will bring you this one you just drag and drop to here if you need two you don't need to drag two times you just have to highlight this and then control c control v like copy and paste so you just highlight this, use your 
uh, keyboard, control C, control V. Okay, or the other method, you can just right click and hold and release. Right click and hold and release. Use your mouse. Okay, well, what if I just turn on? So use your mouse, right click. If I, let's say I need six constant blocks, you highlight everything, right click, hold, hold it, hold your mouse. You, you click the right click already, you hold, and then you release. This is copy paste. In this example, you just need two. Okay, so you can have these two, and the number is actually three and six. So you just double click this, change to three, okay. And then double click this, change to six, okay. Then you will need addition block, right? Addition block. So what you need to do is go to the maps operation, go to find the add block, this one. Okay, then you drag and drop here. You can double click this. You can change to plus minus also fine. If let's say it is plus minus. Or you can increase the signal just type. Plus. Plus, 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 plus. And then OK. So it will be having more like this. Like this simple example, I just need two. Then you just by default already two, so it is plus plus. Or you can change the shape of this um, add block to round shape. So it will be like looking like this. You can adjust the size. You just have to go here, click this one, then like how you do in your word file or any apps, it is just like drag and change the size. Okay, like this one too big. You can highlight everything. It will auto format, arrange automatically. For example, you want to look nicer and so on. Uh -huh. So you can have this, okay, changing the size to reasonable size like this. And in the question, they are using the rectangular shape. So I follow exactly the same like this. Then when you drag this block right you can see the imaginary blue color over here okay sorry so you can sometimes you can just click and they will automatically join if not you just click the tree here you hold the control key and then click this one okay you click six you hold the control key then you click this one so try again so this one hold the control key then click. Or you think, okay, I don't want, then fine, you just drag and just draw yourself this one, I think faster. If you don't want to use your keyboard, then you can just drag and drop. Like this, you want to arrange nicer, then you can just go to format and then arrange automatically, then it will arrange for you. So, for example, like this. I want to have a better arrangement. Uh, you just highlight this, then go to format and then arrange. So they will arrange nicely for you. Okay, then you need to uh, plus three and six, right? You have to present your answer in a form of number, means uh, you present your outcome using the sync library. Okay, so you just drag and drop your display over here. Okay. Then join this. If you don't want to use the control key, you can just uh, use your mouse, then join manually the line from the block you want to start and end. Okay, so from here, you have to <laughs> click run and then it will show you the answer of nine. So this is example one. 
Okay, then maybe you move this one to the top. Oh, yeah. Means you highlight and then uh, maybe now we want to try the second example. Okay, or you, you can keep this later. It's, uh, you just uh, keep this one. So this one is actually having three signal. I want two only, so I just change to two. Okay, so I need to redo this. So, so run, then you will get this answer. Okay, next. So this example done. So the arrow over here, it means equal. So you'll be having equal over here. Okay, next. Now you try two plus four minus five. Okay, two plus four minus five means you double click this two plus four minus. Okay, so you'll be having plus, plus, minus. Okay, so this one, well, how you get the uh, copy and paste? You can just hold your right click, then drag and drop. You'll be having another block. Okay, then join it here. So two plus four minus five. So here two plus four. Okay, and then run it. So how you copy and paste? You just right click this, hold the right click, hold, okay? And then drag and drop, okay? So right click, not the left one. Huh? So we have to right click, hold the right click, drag and drop. Highlight if you need more, then drag and drop. So practice like this. If you don't want, then you just cancel, highlight all of these, and then remove. Or you can just using the original, the, the way copy and paste, or use your keyboard, click this one, control C, click other area, C and then control V, the same thing. Okay, so two plus four minus five, is it the question? So two plus four minus five, the answer will be one. Okay, so you will get this answer. Okay, if you are using the sine, uh, which means the trigonometric function, four sine 0 0.17. So this one, if you use your calculator to solve, uh, you have to change the mode to the radian mode. Okay, radian. So four sine bracket 0 0.17. If you want to use the simulating blocks for this, you have to always start from the back. Like for example, you have to 0 0.17, it is a constant number. So you have to use the constant block, start from the back, and then continue with the sign from the maths uh, operation library. Multiply with this four. So multiply in the control module, multiply means gain. If you want to multiply anything, you have to use the gain block. So 4 sine 0 0.17. So from here, you go to the library. You will need few blocks. You represent your answer in the display. So you just drag and drop this. I will need this. And then you need a gain, right? Because multiplication is gain. So you just type gain here. Then you will be having this. So like this. So you have four sign. Then you will need max operation. If you can't remember, just type max uh, the sign. So you will need the sine wave. Sign function, not wave. Sign function. Ding, ding, ding. Where's my sign? Ah, this one. Okay. So your sign here. So you, you have the uh, four sign 0 0.17, right? So you need a constant as well. So constant come from the source. If you can't remember, you just type it here, constant. So when you have all this already, 
Remember, the arrangement always start from the back. 0 0.17 is a constant, so you have to put this one, 0 0.17. In front. If it is at the back, means it is the first one. And then after that will be your sign. You see the blue color is here, right? So you just click, it will be joined. And then multiply with four. So you'll be having this one by reverse. Put this one constant first, and then the sign block, the trigonometric function, trigonometric function, multiply with the four. So multiply in the simulink, it means gain. Okay, this one, okay. So it is four. So you double click and change to four. Okay, and this one. Join everything. Okay, like this. Then you will click run. You will get the answer of 0 0.6767. So if you use your calculator, you will get the same answer, but change the mode into radian. So when you want to use this, you have to always do in the reverse direction. 0 0.17 is a constant, and then sine multiplied with the four. Multiplied means the gain, okay? And then this is the display. So if you want to show the block name, you just highlight all this, then right click, go to format, then show block name on. Okay, so or you can type it here if let's say I want to type A, B, C. You just use your mouse, click here and use your keyboard to type. So you can type anything here. Like this one, I want to type. Da, 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 da. So enter. So you can type annotate on this. Uh, simulating model window. Okay, so this example done, you will get the answer. So the other one is the match operation as well. So it is very similar like the previous example. You have to start from the back. So all of this is actually a constant. You'll be having minus 12,000 divide. So divide, you can just use your keyboard. There is a slash, right? So that slash means divide and then this number multiply with this number so all of this will be in your constant block that you double click here then you can type all the value like for example minus 12,000 later I will show you so you can type all this in your constant block and then exponential function so you can go to the uh, math operation there to find this exponential term Multiply, then you will need the gain here, which is the 0 0.34. Okay, so uh, we will solve this example. You will be having the one I have complete here. So I will be using. But please uh, uh, do again like this one. You can click here. Then repeat. OK, so we need to solve the exponential term now. So it will be something like this. I already prepared, so I will just copy and paste. OK, so what you need to do is. Choose drag and drop all this block. But remember, it will start from the back, lah, right? In the reverse um, direction. So it means 0 0.34 multiplied with the max function, which is this exponential, and then uh, exponential to a number. So you double click this, it is just negative 12,000 divide this number, right? Divide 327. Okay, so you have to put uh, like this. So the answer is negative uh, 4.41364 for this. Okay, so this one, 
is exponential term. It can be log, it can be like this, log, da, 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 but we are using exponential term. So you go to here, go to max operation, then you go to choose the EU, exponential term. This one, max function. So when you choose this max function, max function, when you double click this, you can actually select the max function includes all of this. Okay, but now we want to use for exponential. So we just click the first one by default. It is EXP stand for exponential. So this one is the solution of this. We will start from the back. So this one is a constant. So when it is a constant, you will just follow all of these. Negative 12,000 divided by this number, divided by this number. So you will type like this. Okay, then it is a max function for the exponential term, which is max function like this. And you will click this, double click. You will choose the first one. By default, it's the first one. Okay, after this, then you go to the front. This is the multiplication. Then this one is the gain that you need uh, the gain here. Double click and change to the number to 0 0.34. So it means this is 0 0.34 multiplied with the exponential term. And what is your U here? Your U is all this is a number. Okay, then you run you will get the answer of 0 0.004118, okay, something like that. Okay, so this is, okay, please make sure you try, huh? because I will need you to submit all this as the homework for this week. Okay, so we will have, Example one, simple OD model. Okay, so this equation is just a given as an example. So you have learned how to derive the OD equation, for example, the first week or second week, you solve using integration method. So you have this negative 3CA plus 0.5U example only equals to dCA over dt. And the initial condition for the concentration given it is zero. It can be a number. So the U here is actually the input and the input is two. So let's say you have this uh, equation given to you. You are going to solve this OD model using the integration method. So what you need to do is you always will move this dt to the other side, right? But before you move, you have to bracket this, just like you bracket all this. Then you move this dt to the other side. You'll be having dCA over here. You integrate both sides. When you have integrate and differential term here, it will cancel out, give you the CA. So this one from uh, time equals to zero to T. So when you have this line already, then what you need to do is equal means you'll be having the arrow here. Just like later on, you'll be having this arrow. The one go to the back here. So this one, this part is actually equal. Equal to what? Equal to your CA. Then you can type it here, CA. And then you'll be having add block, like the one, this one. You will need this add block. So you'll be having uh, minus 3CA plus 0.5U. So this 0.5U, U is a number. So you will need a constant block for this to multiply another gain block of 0.5. Because multiplication, you will need a gain block. And you will see CA and it's your output, right? Then here also having your output. It means you'll be having a loop going back then another gain block of negative three it means when you go back here go back all this is actually ca you go back and multiply with three ma. so you have the three and the signal is negative so this block should be negative 
So this is how we present everything in the blog. So I will demonstrate this one together with you all. Uh, so let me use my laptop. So I will have this one. Okay. So the other example, maybe later I will cover the other example. So let's say I use the other example after I discuss this one. So you'll be having uh, this line, negative 3 CA plus 0 0.5 U equals to DCA over DT. We always uh, move the output to the left hand side. So it will be DCA over DT equals to negative 3 CA. So this one I put nicely. So it is the subscript A. OK, and then uh, plus 0 0.5 U. You will actually move this DT to the other side. So DCA equals to bracket negative 3 CA plus 0 0.5 U and then DT. Then you will integrate both sides like this. OK, so this will cancel out left with CA. And then you'll be having uh, integration 0 to time uh, for negative 3 CA plus 0 0.5 U dt. OK, so now you want to actually use the block. We always start from equal to what? Or I move this one to the back also fine. Means all this because in your simulating block, your equal actually at the back. So CA. Okay. So we'll start from here. Step one, we'll draw arrow. And you remember this, it means equal. A straight line means equal. And maybe I want to uh, present this uh, in a form of, uh, they use the XY graph. So I will be choosing the XY graph block from the sink. So this one sink, you choose the XY graph. So means if you sketch, you just have to put the name of this one sufficient already. Okay, so this is actually like this uh, X, Y. I can't remember the Z block. So you are only required to name your block X, Y, graph. So like this, this is equal to what? C, A. You can type later in the block, this is C, A. But before you drag and drop, you need to sketch the block first. And then only you follow whatever you have sketched, drag and drop the blocks into your simulating window. So now we need to start from here, step one. So you'll be having step one here. So this is your step one. And step two, it will be addition of these two. And you will need the integrate integration uh, block. We call this integrator. OK, so you will always reverse the, the, the position. Like, for example, you'll be having integration block like this one at the back. And then you'll be having the addition block here. And minus, because of this minus, 3. So remember, this block, it, it is actually CA. For the whole line, it is CA, just like this, CA. So when you turn it back, all this line also CA, also CA. And you have negative 3 CA. So this one means multiply. If multiply means you have to use the gain block. That's why you have this 3. And when you multiply this, it means 3 CA over here. And negative means you have to connect to this negative. OK, so. What you need to put first is. Follow this, but the reverse direction, 
So this one come first, right? So this one should put at the back here. It means I will be having a block over here for my integration. So integration block is one over the S. Then you just name this block as integrator. Okay, so my step two is actually start from here, step two. So this is the step two. So it's a reverse direction. When it comes first, then you place at the back here. And then you'll be having add block. So this is step three. You will be having add block. So like this, one plus one minus. So this is the add block. And you having two signals going in. So plus 0.5U minus 3A. So minus 3CA means you have a closed loop. So this one, the whole line is also CA. So you have the minus 3CA, right? So you'll be having again here, 3, and join to the negative. So it means minus 3CA. Then you'll be having 0.5U, and U they give you, it is a constant. And in this case, it is number. So here it is your constant. You'll be having a constant block going in here. And this one, it is actually a constant. And also, you will need the block of gain. So constant block and also gain block. Okay, so from here, you'll be having gain first, 0 0.5. And then this is your constant block Q. Okay, so you need to know how to solve integration method using the simulating models. So this is in your test one. So we will start from simple example. Once you get your OD equation, you will use the integration, okay? Means you have to integrate both sides. You will start from the back here, net, uh, equals to CA. So you draw this one first. You want to present your output using the XY graph, then you'll be using maybe this, or you want to use the scope. So if you choose the XY graph from here, you'll be having the other signal going in that I mentioned earlier, you actually attach to a clock. Okay. If not, you, you will be having incomplete blocks, then you won't be able to run because here there is another signal you have to attach or link to the control, uh, link to the clock. Okay, clock. So this is the complete one. We always will start from the back. Okay, then we will read like this integration. Okay, you put at the back two of these plus together right so you will put the addition block here then you will see ca here go back the whole line will be ca go back to minus 3 ca means you have must be having a gain block here three and the signal is negative so this one means negative 3 ca plus u and 0 0.5. So u is the constant block, gain is multiplied. You cannot put the gain at the front, it is because you'll be having your gain, a signal going in and signal going out. So if you put this gain at the front, you won't be having anything to join here, to link to here. That's why the gain always plays in between. It means 0 0.5 u. Just like the arrangement always start from the back, how we read this is 0 0.5, u so the u here is a constant so now you need to actually choose all these blocks from your simulating model okay then you will get something like this okay try so you'll be having this example until this one hmm? Okay, so you will need this one, 
Is it this? Okay. Okay, like this one, you can change the direction. Huh? For example, uh, you, you just highlight all these. You can drag and drop and move the direction to the bottom, also fine. Like for example, initially I already put this one minus plus. If you want to change, then you can change plus minus. The idea is I have minus three. Three what? I have minus three and this whole line is CA. Okay, so I will just uh, demonstrate this one. So you can follow the solution like the slides. So what you need to do is actually like this one also very weird, right? So I think it's fine. So this one, maybe I change to plus minus. So plus minus, okay? Then this one should be plus, this one should be minus. So this one connect to plus, and this connect to minus, and you can uh, hold this line and turn to the bottom. Okay, so it will look exactly the same, like the solution over here. Oh, they are using minus plus. Okay, so you can change this to plus minus also the same. Like this, like this, also the same answer. So I just remain whatever it is from the beginning because the solution is using minus plus. No, go back. Never mind. So this one is minus plus. So this one go to the top also fine. Like this. Okay. Okay. This one is the integrated block. So you can find these if you can't remember which where are they? Actually, it is a continuous library. So I will name all these words. So show block name on K. Okay. So from here, you'll be having integrated block. When you double click, you'll be having a initial condition over here. You will choose external. Okay, so I will just copy this. And then we will try from here. Okay. Let's say I want to demonstrate this example. Okay, then you will need uh, okay. the one we need here is actually the equation of this. Okay, so maybe I just maybe can screenshot. Uh, yes, screenshot. Okay, so I will put here like this one. Okay, so this is the equal. Then you actually start from here. It means here is your C A. You just type C A. Why you change your other name? So this it means your C A here. Okay. Now you start from the front integration block. So where you get this integrator, you are actually having this, and then you go to simulink. Okay, so integrator, integrator. Okay. Then you will have this. You drag and drop this. Then you will get this one. By default, it is internal. Nothing here. So you will just double click this and change to external. Then you'll be having this 
X0. X0 means initial condition of your CA. Your initial concentration, like this is your uh, initial condition. So the initial condition for this example is zero. What if there is a value? It is a value for your initial concentration. Then you'll be like, for example, initial concentration is five. Then you'll be double click this and change to five initial concentration. For this example, the initial concentration is zero. But I just want to teach you how you actually show the initial value from this integrated block. You just double click and then you choose the internal to external. OK, the initial concentration is a number. Hence, you have to choose the constant block. So when you double click, this is your initial concentration value at time equals to zero. So in this question, they give you the initial condition is zero. OK, so then when you have equal done already this part, second step is to start from the beginning here. So whatever comes first will go to the back. So you're having this integrated block. You double click change to external. The initial condition given is here. In this question, they give you zero for the CA. Initial concentration of CA at time equals to zero is given as zero. It's a number. That's why you need a constant block here. So once you've done this one, these two actually plus together, right? So plus, you will need the add block. So this add block, you have to see CA. And now you have the negative 3 CA. Means one of the signal will start from here. This whole line is CA. Here also CA, but I don't know why they, I cannot type, so I will type uh, uh, search block. Ah, I want annotate, so you select annotate. Huh? So it's here, CA. Here is, you have search block, ma, but I want create annotation, ma, so you choose the annotation, CA. So this whole line here is CA, 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 until this point also. CA. So you have negative 3 CA. So means you multiply with negative 3 CA. You have to include a gain block. Means 3 multiplied with CA and the signal is negative. So join to the negative here. Then you have this multiply again. U come first. So you will put this is your U. So this is actually U. Okay. So this is my U. So this U, the value is 2. Given the question is 2. And then you'll be having multiplication. So U multiplied with the 0 0.5. So if multiplied, then you have to use the gain. So this one, 0 0.5 U. Then join to the signal of positive. So this is the solution using the simulating blocks uh, if you solve this ODE using integration methods. So make sure you can solve this. OK, so this example, uh, you will choose the uh, XY graph to actually present uh, your answer in the form of graph. But you want to use, but you may remember this will be having two signals going in. So always remember to connect this block with the clock okay and then the simulation time for this example it is 10 okay 10 so you just change here to 10 by default it's 10 now. then you run you double click this it will show you a graph like this So this is how they plot the graph for you. So this example, try to solve this, the remaining later. So I will go to the next example, this one. Then the rest we will continue uh, at six o'clock. Maybe I cover more. So we um, still have few more only. Okay, but you make sure you 
if let's say you couldn't run the simulation now, please install and take the MATLAB and simulate. Make sure at six o'clock you can run. Okay, so we will try one more example, then we stop. Okay, let's say now you have this example. So what you need to do is using fundamentals concept you have learned. Like for example, this one, you have conservation law where you will be having a uh, mass balance. So it is like the recap for your test as well. So you have the mass balance, you have the composition balance, and you have the energy balance. Reaction balance we do not include in this module. So you have the energy balance. So for this example, you check. Uh, Q stands for the volumetric flow rate. Sometimes we use the V, small v. And this is the concentration. So if you check the unit C uh, multiplied with the Q, right, you'll be having C uh, unit gram per cubic meter multiplied with the volumetric flow rate meter, cubic meter over minute. Then you will actually get the mass rate which means m dot or w, the same thing. So then you check composition given or not. In this example, we do not see composition, so you won't be having composition balance. And each stream, stream do you have the temperature given for each stream? So in this example, no. So we'll be having no energy balance. So you will start from, uh, always start from unsteady state, mass balance. Then you'll be having dm over dt equals to w in minus w out. Or you prefer to use the mass dot in minus mass dot out. This is the mass rate. You expand the m. Okay, so m here stands for like for example, the unit is gram. You have the d mass over dt. How you get the gram here? So you'll be having the, the formula that you're having the concentration multiplied with the volume. For example, concentration is C multiplied with the volume V. You try to get the unit of gram, which means you want to get the m. How to get the M unit? You, the M unit is in gram, right? So concentration is gram per cubic meter multiplied with, so you'll be getting the G back, right? So means you'll be having V constant, DC. You will get this in mass over the time. So V DC over DT equals to concentration multiplied with volumetric flow rate. Means the in will be having this, C in, Q, and you're only having one in and one out, so minus C, Q. So in minus the out. So all this is the mass rate. Okay, so when Q is the same, given in this question, the Q over here, you can factorize. So you'll be having Q and then C in minus C. Okay. DC over DT, move the V to the back, you'll be having this because you will be only having D, your accumulation term over DT, at one side, the rest you will move to the other side. Okay, now what is the initial condition of your concentration? Like this one, C at time equals to zero. So this one is initial condition. So initial condition of the exit concentration of exit concentration is given. In this example, 
10. So it is given as 10 gram per meter powder tree. The rest also given like, for example, you sub into the equation DC over DT. The Q is given as 5. The volume is given as 100. And then your C in is 50. And then this one is your C. Mm. And your C0 is 10. So now you can solve this using integration method. You will move this dt to the other side. So dc equals to, uh, if I do not change anything yet, I just use the q over the v. I do not suck any value in. So c in minus c dt. Then when you integrate, you will put the integrate integration uh, symbol here because this is constant. So Q over the V will be outside and Q over the V, Q is given as 5 and the V is given as 100. So integrate 0 to T, C in minus C. And your C in is the number. Your C in is actually given as a constant 50. Okay, so here is your C finally. So you will repeat the same thing like you start from this back. So step one, you draw it here. And let's say you present using X, Y graph. Then here will be your C. Then this one is the gain, right? It's a gain. So, and this is the integration block. You won't be putting your gain at the front because your gain having signal going in, signal going out. So you are putting your gain in between like this. So this gain is 5 over 100, which is Q over the V. An integrator block is like this, 1 over the S. Repeat the same like the previous one. Then you'll be having a add block. And here is plus, here is minus. So plus, minus. The plus is a constant 50 going in. So this is your C in, which the number is 50. And then you have the negative C here. So whole line come from the back, ding, 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 go here and go inside. So this one is negative C. And external value, change this block to external source. You'll be having C at time zero equals to the one given in the question is 10. So this is how we finally plot all these using the plot diagram. And remember, if you use the XY graph, it's incomplete. You have to attach this to a clock. So this is how we get this answer. We'll be having XY graph. And this is the simulation time. You double click or you can change the time to 200 on the top there. And you double click this integrator block. You change the internal to external and you'll be able to have this one. And remember, initial condition is a number. Hence, you have to use constant block. So this one is constant block. So how we stop, we'll be having this one equal at the back. Then this is the value multiplied with all these things. And for sure, this one, you are using the gain already. Gain, you cannot put at, at the front. It must be in between. That's why I put the gain in between. Then I have the integrated block. So integrated block will be at the back. Then you have the addition block, one plus, one minus. The one plus is a number 50. 50 is a constant. So here you should put constant. Then you have to see exactly the same like the signal of this C here. So you have to have the loop going back C, go back, and this is a negative. If let's say I have 2C, then I have to put the gain here 2C negative 2 C, like this example on this C, it means from here straight away go to the front, join to the negative uh, signal, it will be negative C. Okay, 
so that's all. Then you will get this uh, block. So I already show uh, here. So I will put this one up. So go to here. You'll be having the block like this. Let's say I have only one. Yo, Argenti just got. So you will need okay, to change this time to 200. Like yeah, this. Let me, let me okay, change the stop time. So this is the simulation time for 200. So this is the example that we have for this equation. So I would just here here to explain better like this. So when you integrate both sides, integrate and derivative will cancel out. So you will put the C at the back. So this one is your C. Okay. So when you flip back from here to here, this whole line indicates C. Until this point also, C. And you join to negative means negative c so you will be having the integration block over here so integration integration so negative c already done now you have the positive c in c in is a number so going in a number you have to use the constant block so here is the constant okay so from here, here is your C in, it's a constant, and the value is 50. Then this one, you have to double click and change from internal to external. So when you change to external, you need another constant block over here. So that you can include the initial concentration of C, the value is 10 given, and join to this. And why you put the gain in between? It is because the gain will be having going in and going out. So you'll be having all these multiplied with this. So all these you'll be having integration, not just now integration. So you will put the gain over here. Addition block. Integration comes first, right? So you'll put at the back this one. So this is how we arrange our or the equation, solve using the integration method, present the blocks like this. So what you need to do during your test is only to do exactly what I did just now, manual calculation and sketch this and name the blocks. If you can remember how it looks like, huh? the block, like for example, this block is called integrated. Okay, this block is constant, constant, the rest like add block. This one is XY graph, this one is clock. So this one is actually gain. But if you draw triangle, it's understood or you just put the gain. But you cannot draw a block. So for multiplication, the gain is for sure is a triangle. Okay, so when you run this simulation, so when you run this simulation, they already mentioned the time is 200. So you will change the time to 200 here. Then you will run it. Then you double click this one. The XY graph, you'll be able to get this answer. Okay, this is the plot. Okay. So next, you've got some time. Okay. Okay, then we introduce the library that requires the source. So if you can recall the one we say we have five important uh, inputs and one, two, three, and this is for later. Uh, for example, you will learn one of the topic requires the frequency response. So this one, we will use the sine wave like sine omega t with the amplitude. 
where your input is in the form of like up, down, up, down. One value going up, going down, going up, going down like this. So this is A sine omega T. So if you draw like this, okay, it's your A. Here is your period of oscillation where you're having your omega equals to two pi per T. Then you'll be having T equals to two pi per omega. And your F equals to one. Like that, uh -huh. it's a max calculation. And number five, you have five major input and five will be just a constant, a number. Just like the value remain constant, uh, like the inlet remain at one value constant remain constant, then the input is actually constant. Just like the example we have just now, uh, like this one is a constant. So the concentration, the input going in is actually constant. So like this C in going in is constant. So you can see we actually derive this one. We support this, the chapters of these two weeks using the fundamentals we have learned, like the conservation of law. So whatever you have in the previous few weeks, you're able to solve using the simulation. Just like the second order, um, the rise time, everything, you can solve using this simulink block. Simulink. Okay. Okay. So all these you can actually get from the library. Okay, so you go to the simulink here, and then the blank one. Okay, you click the library browser. So under this Simulink launch library browser, you'll be having all these fall under the sources. So the five popular sources we have, they are constant, and then RAM, and then sine wave, okay, step, and constant. So they are total five. Okay, so constant one, RAM two, then sine wave three, step four, and one pulse, so five. If you solve using the heavy side step function, it is super long calculation, right? So if you solve using simulink, it will actually take shorter time. So it is very simple to use. Your assignment, you will need to run the simulation. So for sure, you need this uh, simulink to support your answer. Your answer will be actually solved using manual calculation and also simulation. So if you want to change the value to a new value, you don't need to repeat your calculation for manual calculation for too many times. You just use your simulink and compile the answer, like the response, rise time, steady state time, uh, overshoot in the form of table. So you don't need to actually solve all the manual calculations. You show once, if you want to change certain value, you run using simulink and compile the answer in the form of table. Next, see how much we can finish. Okay, open loop means the signal will start from the beginning and then go to the end. There will be none of the signal, like for example, this example. This is, we call as a closed loop. It is because one of the signal at the end, which is a C, there is a turning point go to the front. So this is closed loop. If it is open loop means you will be just having a straight line from beginning, straight away get the answer. And because you have the add block here, means you have two uh, inputs going in. D stand for the disturbance, and U stand for, uh, later you stand for the input. Lah. Okay, let's say you have this open loop. Okay, then we'll be having all these block you need. This is the equation you have. So when you have ys equivalent to transfer function of the process, then us plus gd, then ds. You have this example in one of the tutorial. So in one of the tutorial, okay, I give you some recap. For example, you have um, one of the inputs that you have control bar. The other input, you do not have the control work with you. Then you'll be having one categorized as a process transfer function. 
and the other one is the disturbance uh, transfer function. So let me check whether I uh, in the time I check my notes whether I can put here. Let's say you have. One is, yeah, maybe I put this simple example so that you can link better. So the one having a valve we call attractor. So this one is the one we call as the control valve that you can adjust. Let's say it is Q1 going in. You have another going in uh, stream that we do not have the valve there to adjust. So we will name this as a disturbance. Let's say it is a flow rate of Q. Okay, and then you have the exit flow rate of Q3. Uh, let's say you have a valve over here. So if the relationship is not given, by default it is H over the R, linear relationship. The higher the tank level, uh, the faster or greater the value of Q3. So this one, you will be using mass balance where you will be, uh, if you want to represent all this requires the transfer function, then we will need to always use unsteady state minus steady state. So for the unsteady state mass balance, you will be having uh, dm over dt equals to mass dot in minus mass dot out. So for this example, I give you density. You'll be having rho A dH over dt equals to 2 in rho Q1 plus rho Q minus rho Q3 where your Q3 is H over the R. So from here, cancel your rho. This is one of the example I, I did not include in this slide, but you take this as one of the example. A dH over dt equivalent to Q1 plus Q minus H over the R. So which one having control valve? This one. So this is your have control valve. So you'll be having this equation. So once you have this equation already, you remember you will actually uh, rename this one is equation one. Okay, then we will derive steady state mass balance that will be having this equation directly to A D H S over D T equals to Q one S plus Q S minus H S over the R equation two. So you have unsteady state equation minus steady state equation. So you'll be having A, D, H minus H, S. So repeat the one you have learned previously. Plus Q minus Q, S. Minus always keep outside. So H minus H, S over the R. Okay, then you introduce the deviation form, for example, H. So introduce deviation variables. You'll be having H equals to unsteady state minus steady state. Q1 equals to unsteady state minus steady state. And also your Q equals to unsteady state minus steady state. Okay, so this equation will be simplified to A, D, H over D, T equivalent to Q1 plus Q minus H over the R. Then repeat the same one, Laplace transform both sides. So you'll be having A D H S minus H zero, where the initial condition will be zero because of H0, it is actually H at time 0 minus H at steady state, and both of these values will be the same. Hence, it will give you the answer of 0. Then it goes to Q1S plus QS minus HS over the R. Okay, 
Then you rearrange to have AS, HS. Move this one to the front, HS over the R, equivalent to Q1S plus Q. The other flow I put Q. Yes, this is Q. So this one with WAF, with control WAF. And this is Q, then uh, S. Okay, factorize the HS. You'll be having AS plus 1 over the R, equivalent to Q1S plus QS. And you'll be having this one, ARS plus 1 over the R, right? Then equivalent to Q1S plus QS. Just some recap for you so that you can link better. Your output at one side, the rest will be having R over ARS plus 1, input 1. R over ARS plus 1, input 2. And you will split this one into two transfer functions. Transfer function 1 will be output over Q1S. We call it as the transfer function of the process. So this one with control Y. Wow. So the other part will be output over this QS. And this is the disturbance where you do not have control Y. Wow. So this will be R over ARS plus one. This one also the same thing, same channel function. So this channel function we name as the GD. So with this background, now GP is given as this example. You have your GP given and you have your GD given. Just like this line is exactly the line of This. Where this one is GP and this one is GD. So we call this as the open loop, where the idea is just a tank, you no, know, the one I just draw at the beginning, like this. So this is open loop response where you do not have the value of this h being looped back to the initial inputs it's a straight line from meaning that you wait the process to finish that's all you can't change anything okay so from that we call this as the open loop equation so the revision is given over here uh, you are using the unsteady state minus steady state so that you can have the transfer function derived for both GP and GD. So with these fundamentals that I assume you understand, but I did give the recap here. If this is the line that you have derived from the, any example I give to you, the one with the control valve will be GP. So whatever you, you have for the valve, your output is H, ma. so you'll be having your H over Q1. Functional finance, so this one is your GP. So the other side, no VAF1, you'll be having your output. So I circle too, too big already. So I actually just want to circle the output is H. So for this one, you'll be having your output HS over the input QS equivalent to your disturbance because no control wow. So this one is because Q1 has control wow. So you just derive one line, but you split into two transfer function. So we are having one line like this, then you split to HS over QS equals to GP. HS over Q equals to GD. Okay, so let's say now it is given your GP is this, your GD is this. You are just going to use your simulating block 
to actually plot this line. Okay, you'll be having addition, so you'll be having plus plus, and U is the input, and D is the disturbance. And you have the transfer function multiplied. Multiplied means you'll be having going in, going in. One of your input, you choose constant because I do not know what is the the G and the D can be five types of inputs. In this example, step constant ram sine wave and then mm, pulse rectangular pulse. So in this example, they choose constant. You see, they choose constant. So this is constant. They choose constant. There can be five of these. Okay, there can be five of these, but they choose constant for this particular example. So GP will be a, a transfer function. So you will need to choose transfer function block, transfer function block. And this example, before we go to the next example, we will having the example without the time delay. So we stop at this, we will continue. I have the sufficient recap. Then we will start from this example three. This one without time delay. This is a transfer function block. Manual calculation and example is given already. So you spend some time to go through the recording before uh, six o'clock. Then we will finish the rest at six o'clock. So I will stop recording. Uh, stop sharing as well. Stop recording. Okay, so I will see you all again uh, at six o'clock today. You have time. You go through the slides again and practice all the examples. Okay, because now I think no time for you to practice all the examples. So now you've got some time. You go through all the examples again until this uh, example three. Then we will continue this uh, example three at 6 p.m. And we'll be having only two lectures for simulating this week and next week. And right after that, for Wednesday, uh, week seven, we'll be having our test. And then the 6 p.m. session, we have nothing because during the test week, we won't be having any tutorial. The lecture session will be used for your test. Okay, so that's all. I will see you back. Uh, see you all again at six o'clock later. Bye bye.